Okay, all right. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm assuming if you clicked the video, you saw the title and you were interested in me explaining how I got rid of my under eye hollowness, under eye darkness. Okay, actually what happened was I posted and I told my IG that I got under eye filler and I guess people were very curious. I, I mean, I'm not surprised because um, under eye hollowness is, it just sucks. Ever since I was a kid, I've had under eye hollowness. Just imagine this is just looking like a skeleton, like the bone is sticking out. Like I was so used to people telling me I look tired. I tried all the under eye correcting colors and so many different types of concealers and nothing worked to cover my under eye. Ultimately, like it made my dark circles worse. Being Ethiopian, being East African, we're, we're prone to hyperpigmentation and severe bone structure. Like we have high cheekbones and a lot of us have like very narrow faces and <laughs> it was just frustrating because I couldn't cover it even if I wanted to, you know? So it's like if, if makeup is not covering it and I'm not comfortable to go outside with no makeup because I just look so horribly tired, I'm like, this is about two, three years ago, about three years ago, or two and a half years ago, I got under eye filler for the first time. So the time I showed on Instagram was not the first time. I didn't tell anybody I got filler. I went um, and told you guys that I got like uh, a facial because I had pretty bad acne at the time. But I also got fillers. I just didn't tell you guys because you know it's my life. Like, but boy, oh boy, when I put on my makeup, I said, wow. The nurse who did it for me at the time, she told me that it would last um, anywhere between a year and two years, right? So I was like, okay, like this is it's pretty cool. And lucky for me, it lasted two full years. And then after when the two years was done, um, I started noticing my makeup was going back to looking like shit. And I was like, what the hell? What did I do? What did I change? Like I, I literally, like I almost forgot that like <laughs> there was filler in my face. So like that's why I've been looking great. Because I'm like, what the, like, what am I doing differently? And I noticed I've been looking tired all over again, and it was just like, what is happening? Um, and then it really dawned on me, I said, oh, your filler is gone. Like, it's that's it, it's time for a re-up. I went to a different location this time. I went to a clinic in Richmond Hill. It's a little far from me, but um, I, I knew a couple of my friends went, and they had a good experience there. Um, so I said, okay, I'm going to try this place out. So I messaged them, and I told them I wanted to come by, and they took me. Um, and I will have all the information of where I went to get my filler done in the description box. If you guys want to go, all the information is down below. So that leads us to like now and like me being happy with it. Um, and I'm going to show you guys clips of me getting it. But I'm going to answer the questions you guys sent me. So somebody asked me, do you recommend this for hollow eyes only or would it fill under eye lines as well? For hollow eyes, 100% I recommend this. If you find that like makeup doesn't cover your hollowness and you still see the creases and, and all that, yes. Um, I didn't really have too much under eye lines, but it did help. Um, and my makeup just is so much smoother. Like guys, like look at the eyes. I mean I still have I still have some lines, like not perfect, but like if you saw what I was working with before, it's quite the difference. He said, do you have any bruising or hyperpigmentation after the treatment? So bruising, if it's your first time, this was my second time, um, the first time I still didn't get any bruising. I barely bled. It was very, it was very smooth. Uh, no, I didn't experience any hyperpigmentation and I didn't experience any bruising. Like It was really smooth for me, but they did warn me. The, the most common question I got was, does it hurt? It did not hurt. It was, um, a little uncomfortable because like I think I'm kind of good with pain it depends like if you're good with pain like you should be fine and I got numbing cream so they put this uh, topical ointment on top of where they're going to inject you do I lie down yes please okay uh, first I apply some numbing cream okay, okay. Mm -hmm. how long do these last one year one year yes nervous <laughs> and they leave it on for like 15 20 minutes and you don't feel a thing it's like you know you, you don't feel them poking but you do feel the pressure of the liquid putting in a plastic needle so that it like reduces the the, the risk of bruising right yes okay <laughs> oh plastic. wow 
it doesn't hurt your vessel and nerve mm. either. Okay. So I don't want anything else, but tell me what else do I need? Like, <laughs> is there anything else you would recommend for me? If it is brown for me, <laughs> brown. I grow up, please. Smile for me, please. Okay, no, just uh, under eye. Yeah. And you, what about your lips? You I, like your I lips? wanted to do my lips because I think they're uneven. Okay. Yes. I don't know, but my friends are like, don't do it. Don't get oh. your lips filled because they're already big. Look crazy. Can, uh, that and shape yeah. Out of 10, I would say it was like a 5 out of 10. Like a 4 or 5 out of 10 for like uncomfortableness. But pain, it wasn't, it wasn't painful. Has your makeup routine changed after you got filler? My makeup routine changed because I need so much less makeup now. I, I can look so much more awake with way less product and I just, I love that for me. I used to go, I used to put orange concealer and then I used to put like a darker concealer actually because um, lighter concealer would just look really great on me. Then go in with a highlight. Now if I want to just put on a tinted moisturizer, I can go and put like a little powder and I feel like I look great. My confidence has definitely, it, it helped me feeling like I don't need to try as hard, 100%. Can it look unnatural? I don't know about under eye filler looking unnatural because what are you, like it's not, you can't like go too high, you know what I mean? Like you're obviously gonna stop. It's not like lips where it's like, oh, I want bigger and bigger lips. Like, you can only put so much under your eye, you know? So my doctor um, who filled me, he told me, cause I was like, can I just get a little more? And he's like, no, let's go slowly um, and see how your body reacts with it. And you know, and then we'll, like, if you need more after that, you can come back and get more. You know, but I'm happy with this. I might go a little bit to just touch it up a bit more, but um, I might not also. Like, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Oh, also, so the amount I got in mine, I got 0.5 syringe and 0.5 syringe. So all together, it was one syringe. Under eye filler is not like actually like a cure for dark circles or hyperpigmentation underneath your eyes, but it fills out the hollowness and it does push your skin higher. Once the filler goes, they're still there. And that's what I figured out the hard way. While the filler is in your face, it definitely helps the appearance of dark circles. Like, do you know how great that sounds? As a young Ethiopian girl, I've been struggling with this my whole life. Dark circles has always been like top three insecurities of mine since I was a kid, like since as long as I could remember. And it wasn't until I got a little older that I understood it was actually more of a hollow eye issue. You guys are asking me if it's permanent, like no, it's not permanent. You will definitely get it, fall in love, and then it will become an expense because you're gonna have to get it again. People were asking about the injection site as well, so um, I, if I recall properly, it was in this area, like right here that they injected. nearly two years. I was told it was good for younger people and it was also good if it was your, your first time getting it done. Okay, <laughs> I'm finding some really old pictures. I need you guys not to make fun of the way my makeup looked. This is when block eyebrows were a thing. I was looking cute at the time, okay? So don't mind me. Okay, here's a good picture. <laughs> I had a lot of acne and I was my skin was not nice and I was looking a mess. Look, you can see the hollowness around my eyes Okay, here's another one. Um, you could really see, like I have a lot of makeup on, but you see the hollowness under my eyes right here, right here. And mind you, I was tan in these photos, so I was even more even, but when I come back to Canada and I lose color, the hollowness is worse. Well, it looks worse because like your dark circles are worse because you're all pale. But around these times, it was very rare that I didn't go outside with makeup on, but it's like, it's like a little change that makes a huge difference. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope that answers your questions. Alright guys, that's it. Like, I hope that helps you decide if you want to get this or not, or like, if you're thinking about it, it makes your decision a little easier. It's definitely going to be, um, something I continue getting, and it's an expense that I have included in my life. 
because it just makes me really happy and it makes my life so much easier. I don't have to put so much makeup on and I feel so much more confident um, when I'm barefaced and like that's really important to me. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a very specific and informative video because so many of you guys asked for this to be um, a dedicated video. I was just going to include it in a vlog but you know what? It's okay. Um, I hope that helps. Thank you guys for clicking. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm almost at 40k. Help me get to 40k. I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!